Mauritius got independence from the UK government and became a republic in 1992. The country has an estimated population of about 1.3 million people, which was at the 2011 census. The capital city is Port Louis. The major ethnics are divided into Mauritians, 68%, Creoles, 27%, Sino Mauritius, 3%, and Franco Mauritius, 2%. The people of Mauritius are multi ethnic, multi religious, multicultural, and multilingual. The religions practiced in Mauritius are Hindu, 48%, Christianity, 32%, Islam, and idolatry. Mauritius is the only country in Africa where Hinduism is the largest religion. Languages spoken in Mauritius are French, English, Creole, Hini, Urdu, Hakka and Bojpuro. The government uses English as its local main language. Literacy among the population is estimated about 85-90%. to 90%. Mauritius has a free education policy from pre-primary to tertiary level education. Mauritius currency is Mauritian rupee which, which exchanges at about 44 to 1 pound. Natural resources include farmlands and fishing. Country produce includes sugar, sugar derivatives, tea, tobacco, vegetables, fruits, flowers and fishes. The workforce of the country are estimated at about 47% of the population, which equals 578,700. The history of the church in Mauritius. According to records, church has been inexistent in Mauritius since early 18th century. However, there are very few churches noticed today. RCCG first church plant in Mauritius was in 2004 and the parish named Victory Chapel was started in a city called Cure Pipe with about 85,000 people. The pioneer pastor was sent and sponsored by RCCG Abuja province in Nigeria. Unfortunately, the pioneering pastor had to leave the country as his work permit could not be renewed by the authorities. And in 2016, Abuja province sent another pastor to reopen the parish and continue the work. Pastor David has since started the church with great enthusiasm and energy. We are hopeful and praying that there will be more parishes of RCCG before the end of the year. House Fellowship as it stands, there is only one RCCG church in Mauritius. However, there are now three house fellowship meetings in different cities across the country. Each house fellowship has an average of 25 members attending each week. Challenges The first challenge is idolatry. Hindu religion is practiced by nearly half the population of Mauritius, which is 48%. There is an idol in every corner of most homes and even on the streets. Second challenge is low income. There is high unemployment rates and so many are also on low income. Challenge number three is language or communication barrier. Most people speak Creole and French. English is not as popular in the country, hence missionaries there have to learn the local language. The next challenge is a lack of human resources. There is need for pastors who could lead new parishes and house fellowships in the many untapped districts of the country. And the final challenge is transportation. The initiative to bring members to church is very good and at the moment it's a monthly venture. The church attendance on such days are usually high. However, the church will need to buy a bus and help people to get to church every week. opportunities. The house fellowship in the country at the moment is just three. 
However, they have an average attendance of about 25 members each week. The House Fellowship has shown great potential to expand. There is great potential in starting new House Fellowships, which could ultimately be a new parish plant of RCCG. The leaders and members of the church and house fellowships are motivated and enthusiastic about the gospel and have great passion to serve. The house fellowship centers have witnessed new converts and hence continuous addition. This is the same report with the church as well. Increased attendance at the church each time a bus is provided to take people to and from the church. Assistance required. Funding to meet urgent need of a minibus. Funding to aid in the training of workforce across the country for establishing new parishes. Sponsoring new parishes requiring rent and equipment costs. Need for funding to start a crash facility for the church community through which word of God will be taught. Need for a car by the local parish pastor for ease of travel to fellowship centers, training of the house fellowship leaders and other mission works. Somebody.